the Clippers continue to hold on to that number three spot in the Western Conference after defeating the Portland Trailblazers on Tuesday night, and it was all on the strength of Paul George. But will PG-13's regular season success travel with him into the postseason? I'm Ashley Nicole Moss for Sports Illustrated, and I am here with the ladies. I have Madeline Burke, Grady Diaz, and girls, listen, the Clippers are surging. They have now won nine out of their last ten games, most recently without Kawhi Leonard, who's dealing with soreness in his right foot. And Paul George had 33 points. But the question is, Madeline, are you impressed by this at all, or do you need to see more from Playoff P? I'm definitely impressed. I mean, looking at what he's been doing recently, this is MVP level production. Not saying that he is the MVP, but that's the level of the production. This month, he's averaged nearly 30 points, seven rebounds, five assists. He's shooting 51% from the floor, 45% from three, and 89% from the free throw line in the last month. And he's scored over 30 in six of the last seven games. Ty Lu said recently, quote, he's been carrying us. He's really stepped up by making his teammates better, but also by scoring the basketball. And yeah, you know what? Last year, we saw Pandemic P. It was a little bit of a disappointment. And after his 2K rating came out at 88, he said, you know what? This is a reality check. I promise I'm going to come back stronger. And this is a far cry from what we saw last year. But for the Clippers to have success in the postseason, to continue this going on, we need to see Rajon Rondo lead the, the Clippers in playoff Rondo form and give them someone else to organize the offense organize this team in the clutch and give playoff P the room to do what he has been doing recently in this, in this last stretch. Yeah, listen, a lot of people, myself included, say when the playoffs come around, the regular season does not matter. Who you beat in the regular season doesn't matter and who you lost to in the regular season doesn't matter. But in the conversation regarding Paul George, Grady, he did not have the best reputation in that bubble. Pandemic P, way off P, whatever you want to call him. Right now, he's surging and he's heading in the right direction. He's playing great basketball. Do you need to see this from him in the playoffs? And if you don't, what does this mean for Paul George? Absolutely, we do. But I think DeMarcus Cousins said it best after the Clippers win last night. We got to stop the PG slander. He's put up solid numbers this season. As Madeline said, he's the second leading scorer on this team right behind Kawhi Leonard. You can't tell me that the Clippers would be third in the West without PG. In the regular season so far, he's only had one game where he didn't score in double digits. Every shooting guard is entitled to an off night. As a result of this regular season success, much is going to be expected of him in the playoffs. I think two things can be true at the same time. It's time to put some respect on the most criticized player in the league, and playoff P needs to show up. I think winning a ring and bringing the Clippers its first championship ever would really silence the haters. Grady wants you to put some respect on PG-13. And listen, the Clippers are going to have a handful to deal with when LeBron James and Anthony Davis do get back to the Lakers. The West is going to look completely different. But if they can continue playing like this, we may get that Clippers championship that we were promised last season after all.